Well, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, peace be unto you. My name is Lale Bakhtiar, and I'm here with Doug Williams today, and uh, we're discussing uh, what it means to, to, to be part of the middle way or the middle community. Uh, Doug actually is a high school teacher in, for special ed, and he has a, also a program where he teaches students uh, Quran. It's kind of a Quran club that he has at his high school. But today we wanted to talk to him about what it means to be part of the middle way. Yeah. Um, well, basically, um, what I'd like to talk about is how the middle way uh, saved and preserved my faith. Well, uh, the middle way uh, for me is um, the humanity that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi uh, showed, peace and blessings be upon him, that he showed to everyone when he started uh, uh, preaching Islam. Um, I, I'm always fascinated at how he treated um, everyone with a level of respect. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well you have had experiences with another group or another side of things, yes. another group of Muslims who did not follow the middle way. Yes. And what did you find with them? Well I found that, uh, you know, one, it was the, the, the aim they were shooting for, it was impossible to reach mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, 8th century Muslims are good for the 8th century. Mm -hmm. But we need uh, Muslims that are relevant for today and that can accurately address uh, today's issues and today's problems. And I see that more and more with the uh, club that I sponsor mm -hmm. at the high school that I, uh, that I teach at. Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, now more than ever, we need a uh, Islamic reaction for today's problems. Right. So, in other words, what you're saying is that uh, the people who teach Islam or uh, bring people to Islam need to understand the culture that they come from rather than bring cultural baggage from other countries that doesn't fit here. Yes, exactly. And, 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 not, and not only that, but, you know, not trying to get me to wear the uh, clothes that they have in that baggage. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't, I'm, I'm not from uh, these regions mm -hmm. that a lot of these people mm -hmm. come from. And, and, uh, and it's very, uh, it's very, I, I, it's very uh, upsetting when you uh, can't even relate or they can't even relate to you and you're coming to them with problems. Yes, yeah. yeah. So um, basically the idea of the middle way in your mind is the way of fairness and justice and treating everyone equal. Mm -hmm. It's very much in a way the American way. Yes. According to the Constitution and mm -hmm. there are many, there are probably a lot of Americans who for, have forgotten that mm -hmm. or not part of that. Mm -hmm. But Islam seems that it is uh, very much uh, reconcilable mm -hmm. with the American way. Um, there are some particular areas where we may differ, but the fact that uh, it's a secular country where no one religion is strong means that we are able to practice our faith, whatever it happens to be. But I know what you mean about the people who are what we might call extremists in the sense of uh, running the mosques to not feel, for someone like yourself who's a convert, not to feel comfortable to be able to go to the mosque because they uh, ask too many uh, things of you that you don't feel are really important mm -hmm. in your daily life. Is that what you kind of... Yes, yeah. And, you know, and, and also um, the middle way is, uh, in my view, actually in the, the Muslim view, Muslim <laughs> is, um, is the Islamic way because um, our beloved prophet, uh, peace and blessings be upon him, um, he met people where they were and um, all these great, um, you know, Sahabis, you know, they didn't like just, you know, there's sort of this like uh, mythology, mm -hmm. you know, where all these people were just heavenly and nice from the mm -hmm. outset. And, you know, and that's not true. I mean, that, you know, this sort of rigidness and this sort of, um, uh, you know, this, this, this inability to, to smile and love mm -hmm. that is coming from, Yes, I think, yeah, I think what you pointed out is basically the extremists tend to te teach fear of God, mm -hmm. whereas the middle way teach, tends to teach love of God. Yes. And that f from the love of God, you grow to love him to the extent that you want to do what he's asked you to do, exactly. and you want to not do what he's asked you not to do. Yes, exactly. But I think, you know, above all that, you know, you, we have to ask ourselves what's effective now and today. And I don't think if you have a serious problem, a 
a serious issue that you need to speak with someone about. Um, being uh, talked at as opposed to being talked to is not it's not going to help. Mm -hmm. It's not relevant. Usually the person talking at you is involved in something themselves. Yes. So, so well, it sounds like um, at some point in, after you had converted to Islam that you did meet people from the middle way and it yes. was because of that that your faith was saved yes. because you also met the extremists mm -hmm. who kind of turned you off from the faith. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, yeah, I, you know, it was, um, yeah, they, they, they definitely turned me, mm -hmm. turned me off and, and, um, it was the people from the middle way that really uh, reeled me back in because you know I was very like close to just saying you know forget this I'll mm -hmm. just you know go you know go go back to church or what you know yes. <laughs> whatever you know which I that wouldn't have even that wouldn't have fulfilled me either exactly but um, but it was through um, you know uh, Kazi publications a lot of books that I, I bought here and then conversations we would have and then. Uh, people I met through you uh, that really, you know, helped me reorient and, and, and see that Islam is truly a uh, path of the middle way. Of the middle way. We are middle yes. people and we accept people where they are. And I also realized that even in my criticism of these extremists, that I was becoming extreme. Mm -hmm. So the middle way also helped me see that, you know, like, you know, these are your brothers and sisters. You have to accept and love them too. Yes. You don't have to agree with them. But That's you know, right. You have to give them respect. That's because right. Because you wouldn't like it if, if it was being. That's right. It's Everyone has is free to have their own opinion. Yes, exactly. But that, that uh, they, they need to know that there is another opinion. Yes. Another view. Yes. And well, thank you very much.